Hello everyone, welcome to Jolie's Blu-ray Review. Today we are doing something a little different as I've already done and posted my Inside Out Blu-ray Review. Check it out below. So today, instead we are going to talk about the actual film Inside Out. Before I start, I will say, spoiler alert. Okay, so Inside Out was released by Pixar in 2015. Scene opens to a baby which we discover is Riley. And we also discover the emotion joy. As Riley is growing up as a toddler and child, more emotions join joy and we are introduced to sadness, disgust, fear and anger. Now I really like that we start off growing up with Riley, so we feel attached to her already, making us more sympathetic to her character. Okay, we are then introduced to Riley's islands. So as of now, 11 year old Riley has 5 islands, Goofball Island, Hockey Island, Friendship Island, Honesty Island and Family Island. This makes up Riley's personalities and hobbies and we get to see flashbacks of Riley as a young child telling the truth and messing around with her mom and dad and this is why these islands exist. We then find out that Riley has to move to San Francisco in a dingy looking street in a dingy looking house with no furniture so Riley has to sleep on the floor. Riley suggests they go for pizza but the pizza is a broccoli pizza and disgust comes in this is funny because Disgust comes in at the beginning as well when the dad is introducing Broccoli to Riley Riley hits it away. So throughout the film I do like how the emotions choose how Riley responds to the situations in her life. The scene then cuts to the emotions again and sadness is touching cold memories and we find out if she does this Riley thinks of the memory as a sad one. And this confuses me because surely throughout Riley's life sadness or anyone has touched the cold memory as they call them have turned them from happy to sad or angry. This can't be the only time this has happened. Sadness is upset about this, so Joy tries to cheer her up. And this is a recurring thing in the film, Joy cheering Sadness up or Sadness teaching Joy something. Anyway, Sadness tries to fix what she did and Joy is quite harsh on her, telling her to leave everything alone and stay in her sad circle. I do think Joy is harsh on Sadness. I mean, Sadness is there for a reason. And Joy seems to think she's the most important person at headquarters. It does get a little irritating how she treats Sanna. So, Joy tries to stop the memory going up the chute and ends up getting sucked up it a lot of sadness. While Riley is heading to her first day at school, anger, disgust, and fear are left to control Riley's day at school. And Riley bursts into tears, missing her old life and realising her life has changed and she is also changing. So at home with only fear, anger and disgust to control her, Riley gets in a fight with her parents and we see the mum's mind and the dad's mind and how they deal with this and then the dad goes to talk to Riley who it seems just wants to go back to her whole old life. Okay guys, that night we get to see the dream sequence and it is like a movie set where there are emotion type people. They're not introduced properly but they make up Riley's dreams. Riley dreams of her first day at school. I find it's really interesting that the dreams are like a film. I think it's really clever. So we cut back to sadness and joy, and now they are lost in long term memory. And because of all the islands are down at the minute, and the dad tries to act goofy around Riley, she doesn't respond. Goofball Island falls down, making joy and sadness tumble down. But of course, being main characters, they conveniently can't be lost in forgetfulness, as they call it. It would maybe have been interested if we did lose sadness or joy and then would see how the emotions adapt and make Riley happy or sad without either of them. We cut again to Riley and I'm not sure how many days go by but it's like a montage kind of thing because Riley sleeps and then Riley's up doing things. So I don't know how much time has passed by because the film is cut between Riley and her life and the emotions controlling her or joy and sadness is eventually home. Riley now though is scoping a friend who is talking about her new friend she has and yet she doesn't sound very nice. I mean her best friend is boosted about their new great friend. And of course this makes Friendship Island fall down. So we've lost two islands now. We kind of get the gist of what's going to happen for the rest of the film. So Bing Bong who is only just introduced, never mentioned before, is a pink elephant in Riley's imagination leads them to the train of thought and again the idea of the train station or headquarters is a great idea they call it the train of thought, it's really clever so sadness doesn't like the idea but joy goes and so sadness follows and we cut back to Riley again without knowing what time of the day it is how many days are passed but it's lunchtime and Riley's sat alone, no friends 
Now we get to see abstract line, which looks so cool. Like the idea they break up and they put themselves back together and then they're different shapes and they're 2D and Joy is a star because you know she's pretty much a star the emotions as she thinks. I do feel that the whole part of this film is to just give us a tour of Riley's head and different worlds as we get a tour around imagination world with fries and travelling clouds. Oh and the imagination boyfriends that say I would die for you which I find hilarious as it's like a big take of Twilight and those kind of films it's like a clever dig at them. So when we cut back to Riley again she's trying out for hockey and of course without joy she fails it she gets angry she stumbles up and expects hockey land form. Then one of the moments that surprises joy when sadness makes Bing Bong feel better and they're on their way home on the train. So we then get the clever bright idea thing where one of the emotions can put a light bulb into the control panel and it's such a good idea for a simple thought and anger makes Riley take the bus home, steal the money from her mum and get the bus late at night. Joy and sadness enter dreamland dream dream to wake Riley up so they can get back to headquarters. So then Riley starts dreaming of her day and her teeth fall out. She has no pants on. But Joy tries to make her dream happy by dressing as a dog for sadness. But then the back of it falls off and Riley wakes up scared. I like how the dreams work. And she wakes up scared from the dream. So in subconscious world there are scary things like the basement at night and broccoli. And you sort of get the idea Riley doesn't like broccoli. So we then get Bing Bong free and onto a train. When the train falls and gets lost, Joy tries to think to go on her own. The ground splits causing them to fall, but they again don't fall completely because then the film would end. Joy starts reminiscing on Riley's memories and this makes her sad. She starts crying. And then Joy then realises how to get back. She starts singing and looking for Bing Bong's cart. While this happens, finally Iron falls. So Joy finds that I would die for you boyfriends and pass them on each other to make a bridge. She then flings them against the window, disgusts them, makes Anger so angry he bursts into flame and, uses, and disgust uses him to burn the glass up. Joy, now more selfish as it seems, lets sadness take control and sees the whole running away idea is over. I don't understand why because sadness would make her sad, really she would want to go home more and oh well, I think I'm thinking too much into it. So Riley has her heart to heart with her parents. And they say, forget this move. We spent ages planning and spending money for this. Let's just go home because our daughter misses home. And I um, don't agree with that really. So then the scene opens again to New Islands. We got Vampire Fantasy Island, so the Twilight Dig again, and Fashion Island. And Riley tries up for hockey. This time with Joy's help gets in. So my thoughts on this film. I think the whole idea is clever and well done. I love the quirky parts like the train of thought and the twilight days. I might be the only person that thinks Joy is quite selfish constantly trying to be a child and she has to get back to Riley as if sadness isn't needed. Uh, when Riley, even though she's controlled by anger, fear and disgust, still acts bratty to me. I mean, she makes her parents feel so bad they move back home again. I did enjoy this film. I enjoyed the cleverness of it, the emotions, how they control Riley. So overall, I got this film four out of five so guys comment your opinions on this like that did you like it did you hate it and what would you give it and subscribe more to see more of my videos opinions on inside out did you like it or hate it and what would you give it and subscribe to see more of my videos